Just like last night's city council vote today, reaction is split. Some people say the city needs to do more to prevent drug overdoses and public drug use on Seattle streets, while other people say this was the right choice to help people struggling with addiction. In the city of Seattle, public drug use and overdoses are something seen by downtown ambassadors who work to keep the city safe and clean. We end up using Narcan way, way often, uh, more often than I would like out here. Since the start of this year, the Downtown Seattle Association says their ambassadors have had to use Narcan on more than 90 people. I've had to use Narcan three times in one day on three different people. That's why leaders of the association are frustrated by a vote last night at Seattle City Council that does not allow the Seattle City Attorney to prosecute public drug use cases. This is despite a new state law making public drug use a gross misdemeanor starting in July. Or in favor five opposed. People are dying on the streets every day and it's a threat to our continued uh, uh, economic revival uh, in, in our city. We need action by the city council. Council members who voted in favor of the law were Sarah Nelson, Alex Peterson, Dan Strauss and Deborah Juarez. Those who opposed allowing the city attorney to prosecute public drug use cases were Lisa Herbold, Shama Sawant, Teresa Mosqueda, Tammy Morales and Andrew Lewis. I think the city council made a very thoughtful decision in recognizing that prosecution and, uh, and incarceration for drug use has been ineffective and is inconsistent with the approach that the city has long taken to drug use issues. The King County Department of Public Defense Director is applauding the vote saying if drug cases have to be prosecuted, it should be by King County and not the city of Seattle. It makes sense for it to, to happen in a place where the, the programming and the infrastructure already exists. But King County prosecuting attorney Lisa Mannion says it does not have the staff or funding to take on a new body of misdemeanor cases. They said no agreement has been made for them to do so and they urge city council to pass the ordinance. It's a vote that has left some people pleased and others calling for further action. And this is a an emergency that has been brewing for months and months and months and they've had opportunity for months and months and months to do something about it. We need them uh, to act. One of the deciding votes last night was council member Andrew Lewis, who represents downtown Seattle. He was struggling with how to vote, but decided to vote in opposition of the legislation. Now he says he will propose new legislation to address public drug use, but he wants to figure out how diversion services will work. At Seattle City Hall, Connor Board, King 5 News.